Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. Finally, I've got a chance to actually sit down and do some of these videos. I've been all over the place the last few days, but yeah, this one's been brewing quite a bit in terms of Newcastle's next director of football. As always in these videos, don't take everything I say with truth. Again, I'm going to show you stuff. You believe what you want. I'm here to show, not tell is probably the best way to put it, but... As always, guys, well, thank you so much for your support. We are about 200 subscribers away from 14,000, so thank you. If you're new to the channel, guys, make sure I get down there and subscribe. Smash the like button you enjoy. Appreciate the support as always. In terms of Newcastle's fixtures in November, those are the remaining ones I will be at. Still plenty of games to get down to, so if you can make any of those games, make sure you get yourselves there. Especially the women's matches. Loved that game yesterday. Caught me for the one on Wednesday, but anyway, guys, enough about me. In terms of Michael, we will start off by a bit of his background. He used to work for Chelsea. And in terms of the players he's brought into Chelsea Football Club, big shout out to Del Barrio sticking on Twitter. But the county one's incorrect, but the rest of those are true. I mean, they are some of the best football players to ever play in this league. Players like Salah. Admittedly, yes, he was a bit of a flop at Chelsea. But still, he brought players like Salah, De Bruyne. And I mean, these players are some of the best players in the world at this current time. So, yeah, I'd love to see what players he would bring to Newcastle if he was to come. But... I mean, the guy's got the knowledge, has he? He knows how to pick a good player up. So, anyway, without further ado, let's actually get into the sources now. The first one we will look at here is NUSC360 tweeting from uh, Eurosport. Yeah, looks interesting, this one. In terms of January window, we already know that Eddie Howe is going to get a big, massive budget. Amanda Stevies came out and said that, oh, we don't normally spend big in January, but we feel like this season we need to. I mean, she's not wrong, but... Yeah, straight away, all for a fact that he's going to get this massive war chest just full of money ready to spend on players. But yeah, I would love to see what Eddie Howe would do with a big transfer budget because he's never really had that before in his career. He's always had a limited budget when he was at uh, Bournemouth. So I'd be really interested to see what kind of players he would go for if, with a big amount of money. But uh, in terms of the uh, director of football, it said that he's going to be above him, which, yeah, is expected. You imagine he would be the one that's kind of... Taking advice from Eddie Howe, I would say, saying that what kind of players he wanted, and he would go out and look for those sort of individual players. That's what I would personally think, anyway, in terms of that. But at the same time, you never know, maybe just him directly going to players and going, Oh, Eddie Howe, do you want this player? Do you want this player? But uh, yeah, I'd be interested to see how these dynamics work. I'd love to see how the manager and the, again, how the director will work together. I'd be really interesting. But yeah, uh, a lot of speculation at the minute, but he was the club, and I personally would be a big fan of it. I feel like it would work quite well. In terms of Rudy here, I mean, this guy claims that the director thought it was going to be in the next four days for the Brentford game. I mean, damn, I imagine. But, uh, yeah, I don't think we need to be that quick of it. I feel like we, as long as he's in well, about December time, we should be all right. Uh, of course, he needs to be ready to go as soon as that January window opens. And I feel like bringing him in any later than the start of December would be a bit of a problem. But, yeah, I've still got a cut rig, so I expect the director being by then. Amanda Stavia and the consortium, I mean... Those are ambitious people. They are ready to make these changes and uh, we need to make those changes. It's simple as that. But yeah, in terms of this, so again, I mean, if the guy's in for Brentford, I mean, what a statement that would be getting a director of football what, a weekend after a manager or something. So be really interesting. Uh, I wonder if Eddie Howe would have a say, say in it. I don't think he would personally. I feel like the owners would just make this choice on their own. And uh, again, no, there's a lot of people out there. Over Mars, like I said, a couple weeks ago, has turned us down. Who else is there? Lewis Campos. I mean... There was an R1 as well, I can't it's called now, but uh, there's a couple of them out there, but I mean, the fact is we are going for the big ones, we are going for pretty much the best directors in the world. The final one we will look at today is Burns here. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I would never ever put this guy's tweets into my video, but just like a lot of people last week, I made it with quite a lot of people, and uh, Burns is one of them who came out and put a lovely tweet about us, and uh, yeah, we put everything behind us and we move on forward like men, but uh I mean, again, no, he says he's going to be in by the end of the week. I hope so. Again, it's never, I never know these days, but I'd like to see him in by the end of the week. I feel like, again, it would be a great state by this football club. But anyway, guys, let me know what you think down below. Do you think this Michael guy is going to be in by the end of the week? I don't even know how to pronounce his second name yet. That's why I haven't said it in this video. But yeah, I'll be back with another video later on today, though. I've got one planned and uh, I'm going to stick on about five o'clock just in case anything else pops out. And I might have to make a third one, but it'll probably just be two today, though. As always, guys, thank you so much for your support. You enjoy watching the video and uh, yeah, exciting times being a Castaneda fan. But anyway, guys, I'll see you all later on today.